as a man can do that leave him. Good morning. It's a new day and it's a new adventure here in Las Vegas. To come back to my first impressions from yesterday. Whoa! Whoa! Really cool! After a good night of sleep, I'm just mind blown by the city. I usually really dislike those fake towns built solely for tourists. That's why I didn't enjoy, let's say, the islands of Thailand so much and I preferred Cambodia because I felt in Cambodia it was way more real while in Thailand the whole island was just manufactured for the tourists. And honestly that's what I expected to feel in Las Vegas. But I think here they went all in to start with the gambling lingo to such an extent that it goes beyond that. It's just the city of excess, city of opulence and it doesn't feel fake anymore because it's just too much. So, Alex went off to do his work thing, his work whatever. So it's just me and the city. That's where we're staying and that's what's next to it. Just, what is that? I don't know how that's gonna work out, but I wanna go see the Hollywood sign. I wanna go see the Las Vegas sign. The classic Las Vegas sign. Yo, that's the pyramid. So cool. Cue the joke about the Sphinx's nose job, of course. Because the real one doesn't have a nose. Everything seems so close, but it's not. I've been walking and walking. Oh, where's that sign? Give me a sign. That looks like Vegas on a budget for you. Oh man, I see it. I see it right ahead. That's a prime picture spot with the lineup. I still can't believe just how massive everything is. I love it. It's just so crazy. So this is no joke. There are actual flamingos at the flamingo. Didn't expect that. Pretty cool. This is just so cheesy. I love it. See, that's the kind of machine I like. Legends say that this is the shop that started the whole trend like five years ago about the cupcake. That's a video of inside the machine. Oh, oh, oh. I feel it's coming. Oh. Okay, it's admittedly a gimmick. But, I did want a cupcake and I hear they actually have really good cupcakes, so let's see. I took red velvet. Mm. Okay, this is actually really good. 
Now, to the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world on HBO. seconds before the big jump. That sucks. I should have changed it before but I was kept in suspense. I was like, okay, now it's gonna happen now. Good thing I had my phone to film it in, in the end, so. I've heard of this place on the news before. The owners being like criticized for feeding fat people for free and uh, it's like this place that glorifies fatty big burgers. Almost 20,000 calories. That's the equivalent of nearly 40 Big Macs. Death is great for business at the Heart Attack Grill. Waitresses are like doctors and you're the patient kind of waiting for a heart attack from eating that food. It's hilarious. <laughs> I guess I'm not eating for free. I'm a little bit less than 350 pounds. That's too bad. All right, it is night time for part two of the evening. Now with Alex. So first, we're going up to the, the fancy loft, right? Yeah. First up to the fancy loft for some beers and sushi. Yeah. Then Las Vegas show. Yes. And then, I guess that's it. I don't know, we'll see. No. Oh, after it's... I know what it is. Craps. Craps. It's craps or crabs? Craps. Craps? Like, oh, okay. Okay, so we're gonna gamble it up tonight. And tonight is the night I win my $10,000 to fund the entire year of travels that's coming up. At least hopefully. I was hoping to get the beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Trying to get people. You guys don't pick it up. Yeah, that's Hold on. We're going to see the carrot top show thing inside the pyramid. Carrot top. Unfortunately, when I started filming, the security came and they said, Oh, you can't, you're not allowed to film here. This is against the rules, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, we just gambled for the rest of the night. That was fun. Kinda. I'm not, I'm really not a gambler. And I think the main reason is just because I'm so unlucky. I never win anything. But the guys gambled and had fun. And I think it was a great conclusion to the first day in Vegas.